Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, on this video, um, working on the White Pages API. Uh, it's really easy to find it. Just developer that whitepages.com. And what this API allows to us to do is to search um, by by name and include a name and the location, and you get back a complete address and phone number. And also you can do a reverse look up by phone or by address or by business so uh, this is just the first video for this um, series so here's what I got so far uh, I got a Windows Forms just a basic button here and, and as you can see I have a just a basic files here and I'm, I'm the AMP settings. I have the key for develop the developer key because if you notice in the web pages, you need to uh, register and apply for an API key. Without it, you won't be able to call, make the call. So here, what I have is I'm building a string, just a long URL, <coughs> and I'm passing first name and last name of zip code if you have it, and your developer key. That's it. And as you can see here, it's gonna pop it in inside this guys and I'm looking for Paul Jackson as an example I have no zip code but as you can see I'm gonna be using the XML data or XML document object and you can load one of the uh, <coughs> methods you can do is load a string and in this case we're gonna load this whole string so this object is gonna go load up this uh, HTML data back to us and then you'll see it once it come back so I'm gonna try it out and we should get back in here in the console for the data as you can see it's right here it finished as you can see it's not formatted correctly but you can see it across and for example there's a few things that are really nice like for example uh, you can it, it gives you a link so you can go on the internet and view it but the, as you can see here's my first name and last name that I sent and if we keep looking in this return it will give us the address if any was found so it's kind of a huge file but as you can see it gave us a PO box 175 the city, the state, and the zip code and a whole lot of other data uh, I think we can copy even this guy and I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna see if this link is valid nope it's not valid but I did find that there's another there's another link that allows you to uh, view the results in the HTML. So I'm gonna pause that. So as you can see, I'm, I have I I'm using the text viewer to see this XML back. It's huge. I haven't gone through it, but I seen it that it tells you that it has some driving directions or view listing detail, and it will give you a link. I am for sure that. Um, I'm sure it will give you a link back. So in the next video, I'll show how you can pick from all this data uh, some valuable information. Uh, so uh, maybe in the future, someone might need to search like for customers. Let's say you want to uh, search in in a specific state. Everybody with Paul, for example, that is with last name in Jackson. I think you can even uh, I'll put, uh, not pass the first name and just the last name. I think the last name is required and it will still give you data back. But uh, I did see this message too many results found. So you're probably going to have to, uh, there's here's total available 298. So it's a little bit work to go through this XML. But on the next video, I'll show how you can read this and pull out information that is useful. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh
come back to facebook.com slash C sharp nerd and just leave me a comment here about any videos you saw on YouTube thank you for watching